stuff from AliExpress for a while and just holding on to it, so now I'm going to show you what it is. Obviously, I have a couple of things. <laughs> um, there's some brushes, some stuff from Born Pretty. I've got a couple of charm mold makers, like a variety pack of them. I have some McCart gel polish. There's a white one somewhere. A bunch of glitter. These are holographic. Some of them are controllers and some of them are little bats. There are duckies, which I'm going to use in this video. Uh, more duckies. These are iridescent. These are some iridescent froggies. Some more duckies that I also use. Some no faces. I got some other stuff over here, some little star charms, and you know what? Let me show you the rest of the Studio Ghibli stuff that I've got. I have some of these suit sprite and more no face stickers. I cannot wait to make a set of nails from them. And then I have God's own amount of just glitter confetti stuff. All kinds of flowers and iridescent. There's hearts and clay slices, just regular confetti, some oversized pieces, but just in a variety of colors. And then I have some little cherry blossom flowers. I don't know when I'm going to use those. They're a little thick. And then I've definitely used these, but for different projects. They're glow in the dark clay slices. There's some pokeballs that I found. I have no idea what I'm going to use those for, but I saw them and I bought them. And then these unicorns, they are clay slices. They're all different thicknesses. A lot of them are misshapen, but I can't see myself going through the entire pack, so it's fine. Let's see. I also have a bunch of Lily Cute stuff. I've used some of it. I enjoy most of it. This is the thermal stuff. It actually is pretty reactive. There's a bunch of the magnetic stuff. It's supposed to be super color shift, but it's it's not, but that's okay. I didn't spend a lot on it. Some reflective, some more thermal. Obviously this is poly gel in the corner. I have some Boslin. I don't know how to say that, but those are just more cat eyes. And then also some flower fairy gel. It's not super cool, so I don't use it a lot. I have actually, since making this video recording, uh, used these poly gels and they are awesome. And moving on, I've got more glitters. These are all gold, obviously, and very, very, very shiny. I have some iridescent uh, Aurora stuff. <laughs> more glitter, because you can never have too much, apparently, as it turns out. More iridescent glitter flakes. I don't know what to call these. They're just much brighter than the other ones that I have. And then I have some chrome powders. This one's like a black and red. And this is another powder, but it's more just reflective. And I don't really like using it. It's kind of just gritty because of the big reflective pieces. I also have this stuff, which is like a gel. Uh, they're, they're both gels. They're both blue. One is reflective and the other one has white pieces of glitter. And then I have this one, which has glow in the dark bits in it, but it's just flowers with like purple and green. And that's all of the stuff that I have gotten recently. Oh, just kidding. I also have this cat's eye stuff. It is super, super, super pretty. Now I am moving on to some of the stuff that I got from Zillaboo or however you say that. <laughs> I bought a couple of sets. I'm definitely trying to hide my <laughs> mailing address and stuff. You'd think I would have pre-opened to this, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just gonna hide that. But I bought a couple of different things from this website. I really wanted to get something for, so I'm getting married soon, and I wanted to get a set of something for one of my bride's people, and she picked out that one. I also ordered for myself some One Kill Peel Off base, and I decided I would also get her some because she's the person that I've gotten the most into nail stuff. 
and I'm really excited about having used that at this point. But like I said, I got her one as well. And for myself, I got some duckies. Ah! Be my phone died. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> set back up. So I got myself a jelly set, like a syrup gel, of this swimming pool nail polish, and I'm super excited about it. But before that, I this was the free sample pack that I ordered, and <laughs> I struggled to find the colors here. Whoopsies. They're on the other side other side there you go and they're all just a bunch of neutral type colors but hey i figured why not pink kind of a purpley white pinky white red and a purple air color i have not tried those out yet but i will definitely have to and that looks like that's it in this box so review Two peel off coats, the winery set by From the Nail. It's really well packaged. It comes, it comes with this little uh, sample card. So you can just paint these colors on stuff. And I never swatched this out because it was not mine to swatch out because I got it as a gift, but I did open it. You can't really see too much in this, but it's super pretty. And this one is the one I got for me. I can get it out. <laughs> I absolutely love this ducky thing. It cracks me up. But you have, <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am about it. The star of the show, the whole reason I went to this website in the first place was to get the Jello Jello peel off base coat uh, and one kill system. It comes wonderfully packaged and some wood sticks are included. I just end up using toothpicks because they're nice and easy and cheap. Here's the one kill remover. You just add a couple of drops, let it sit for a couple of minutes, like up to five, and then it should just kind of pop your nails off as long as you have the peel off base coat, which is this. And I've used it on other peel offs and it works just fine. I love this duck so much. Oh my god. So there's a space for every single nail color that it comes with and it just turns into a little stand. Honk honk. And I'm going to test all of those out on these fake nails. I obviously need to really work on mine. It is about dang time. These are all of the colors. They obviously will not fit on the screen so I'm just gonna go ahead and start swatching them out and I'm going to switch to music.
too much time on actually doing any of this prep work. It's basically just me removing any little bits of extra nail polish, giving my nails a, a rough up, and uh, applying a peel off, peel off base coat. So I'm not going to use the <laughs> remover yet, and because it's not going to help me any. So I'm going to go ahead and just get these on. Since this is a peel off base coat, I'm going to leave a small margin around all of my nails. And yes, I know they look absolutely awful, but that's because my nails got stained and whatever. So to prevent that from showing through, I'm using a jelly base coat by Model Ones. So when I put on the actual fake nails, it won't show through all the way and look super gross. And then I'm gonna play around with some confetti, which you'll see in a second. But that's because I had to take a couple of days to do these because I just kept running uh, into errands <laughs> that I wasn't expecting. I'm going to be making some rubber ducky molds out of this. From somewhere on AliExpress. <laughs> So whatever this was, uh, but there are rubber ducky makings in here that you can kind of see. Oh yeah, there's a good cross section. I'm going to try to use just poly gel to fill this in and then we'll paint it after. are pretty cute. They're starting to make little poppies. So I'm going to alcohol wipe them down. Probably with way too much alcohol, but that's okay. Mmm, crunchy. like a duck. I'm going to make another one, and I'm also going to use some of this to help fill in, and this.
that sitting and setting, you know, trying to get out all the air bubbles, I'm going to end up put on my fake nails. Which are hanging out over here. And I'm going to try this. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to go for it. I have gone ahead and picked out all my sizes, and I went and did some extra filing on the outside to try to make it look more flush and natural. I know, my nails look terrible. I went and dyed my hair, and then I of course washed it, and all of that dye is just hanging out. So, should fit relatively well. Boink. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do that. they are glued on, they are actually, like, pretty natural looking. Not clear, but like, where it meets. I'm excited. All of that prep work really worked out. I have a couple of edges to file up. Um, I put a little too much glue over here, and I'm not really too worried about that, so I'm gonna go... So, if you're an idiot like me and you wiped them off with rubbing alcohol, you're going to end up with these streaks that are not just going to wash off because I already tried washing off my hands. So, if you just wipe it off, you should be fine. Uh, extra steps made for me by me. I forgot. And I should have just washed my hands. But what about the numbers? Okay, hear me out. I have a solution. <laughs> it's actually pretty common. And it is top coat underneath. So it'll kind of look like that. Okay, now that those are all taken care of and you can mostly not see the numbers, I am going to paint all of them blue uh, with FS80 because it's really pretty. It's this one and I'm going to do some other detailed designs with this guy, but I'm painting all of them this color, and I am hella excited. It's so pretty! The show in the other room doesn't, I don't know, overwhelm all of this, but I'm just gonna drop these. Hopefully straight into a rubbing alcohol bath. Come in. Oh no. Is one of them headless? Oh shit. Just duck head. <laughs> oh my god. R.I.P. <laughs> uh, well, maybe I can fix that.
do some painting. I've got ooh, wrong one, um, white by McCart, and I'm just going to use the pink by for the nail or from the nail for the beak of these guys. I'm going to use this one, which is that number. Thank you. 